What's going on y'all? Today I will be talking about 10 basic HTML tags you must learn and ain't no biggie if you don't know them. Uh, you'll learn them today, what they are, what they do. And before we begin, be sure to smash the like button if this video helps and let's get started. So the first tag we're going to learn is called a text header. A text header is basically, it defines the headings of your page. So an H1 tag will be your most important header and uh, your H6 tag will be your smallest header. So if I just do an H1, if I do H1 and I say header and I save it and I refresh my page, we'll see that this is pretty big. But if I were to do an H6 and I do smallest header, we'll see that's going to be the smallest header. Now you can't go any, uh, you can't go above H6. If you do, then it doesn't apply properly. So if I do smaller header at H7, we'll see that H7 is actually bigger than H6. So there's a limit you can go to, which is up to H6. So the next tag is called a paragraph tag. A uh, paragraph tag is used to define a paragraph and basically all browsers support it. So it's just a simple P. And right here I can type in lorem and I have a bunch of lorem ipsum right here. And if I save it, we'll see that it is shaped like a paragraph. So the next tag is called an anchor tag. An anchor tag is used to go to different uh, links on the web or jump pages on your site. So it looks something like this, a simple A and inside of here I can type in go to Google and I would have to give it an href and I would do HTTP colon double slash google.ca and if I save that refresh and I click this it'll take me straight to google.ca so the next tag I'm going to talk about is called list tags and they're comprised of three main tags a ul tag an unordered list or a bulleted list an ol tag an ordered list or a numbered list and an li tag is used for listing the items for your ul or ol tags or you can use an li without an ordered list um, but it's best to use it with a list tag so let me give an example uh, let's do an ordered list first so an ol tag and inside of here I'll make an li and let's say ting1 and I will copy this paste it a couple times and call this ting 2, 3, and 4, save it, and refresh. We'll see that it is a numbered list in order. But if you were to change this OL to a UL, we'll see that it's going to turn into bulleted. And if we were to get rid of these ULs, we'll see that it is going to be a simple bulleted list, but it's not going to have that indentation. So the next tag I'm going to talk about is an image tag. An image tag is used to display an image on your site using a source in quotes and uh, you can put the address of the image there and it directly picks it off or you can even put in a file path and uh, you can give your images height and width inside of your tag so you don't actually have to do anything in a CSS file so very simply it'll just be an image tag self-closing and I'll do a source in quotes and I have a bunch of pictures right here of Tesla's and I'll pick up this one right here and I will copy its image address and paste it into here and if I were to save it, we'll see that it is pasted, but my god, it's huge. It's a, it's a huge picture. So to fix that, we're just going to add a width in quotes. And whatever number you type in here automatically goes to pixels. So I'll type in 350, and if I want a height, I'll type 350. And we'll save it, and we'll refresh, and we'll see that, ooh, that's too boxy. Let's make it, let's do 450. It's a little bit better. Let's just go with 650. I think that, sh that should be good. No, you, wow, that's actually really wide. Let's go with 600. Cool. So the next tag is called a divider tag. A divider tag or a div tag is one of the most used tags. It basically defines a divide section of a page. And very often you can use it with CSS for the layout of your page. And what it looks like is it just a div so the next tag is called a span tag or a text span it's uh, used to group inline elements on a page you can even use a span tag to add styles to a certain part of a sentence for example let's say we have this eye right here and it's looking real plain let's color it red so what I would do is right next to it, I would make a span tag oops not a spank tag a span tag and right in here I'll add an eye I'll get rid of this eye and I'll do a style is equal to and in quotes I'll do color and let's change it to red 
and if we refresh the page we'll see that that specific ad read right there changed if I zoom in a lot you'll see right here changed so the next tag I want to talk about is a horizontal ruler tag basically you can use this tag to define a change of content using a horizontal line so if I zoom out a couple times up to there and let's say I want to separate ting4 and our image I would just make a very simple hr tag with a self closing brace and if I save it and refresh we'll see that we have a line right here now we can even style this line if we want uh, we just have to do a style tag right here not a style tag, a uh, style property and inside of here we'll just do border uh, border top and we'll do dashed and let's do 10 pixels and if we save it refresh we'll see that we have a bordered horizontal uh, dashed port, uh, a dashed uh, horizontal line so the next tag we're going to talk about is a BR tag a BR tag basically signifies a single line break now for example let's say we want to make this eye all alone it's feeling hella superior so what we would do is we would add a BR tag right here with a self closing brace and we save it we'll see that the lorem is by itself but we just want to say we just want to make the eye alone so we'd also add a BR tag right here with a self closing brace and we save it we'll see that we have eye by itself so the next and final tag I'm going to talk about is called a strong tag it basically um, defines a piece of text to be emphasized or bolded so let's say this eye is feeling even more superior we can add a strong around it around the span tags right here and if I save it we'll see that the eye is red and bolded if I zoom in a lot right there cool so these are just some very basic HTML tags that I thought were very important to learn if you want to get anywhere as a developer um, if you all have any questions or suggestions leave them down below in the description like comment subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one